Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Dion, a photographer here in New York City. I urge you guys to come over to my IG and my Twitter, check out my work, see what I do, I post behind the scenes. Um, I also have a TikTok if you wanna check out, it's the same handle as my Twitter and IG, where I post more behind the scenes videos on there. And also I urge you guys, please, please, please consider becoming a patron. I have exclusive content on there and also it helps support the channel. All right, y'all, so today's video, we'll check out the photos that EXO did for W Korea October 2018. Now, I don't remember what the roster was during this time. Was anyone enlisted during 2018? I don't think so. So I think the, I think the whole group, aside from Lay, should be here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm excited because I remember this shoe. I remember seeing when this shoe came out. When it came out, I forgot where I saw it. I think it might have been IG. And I was like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is everything. I forgot it. But since I've been doing this review series, I was looking for shoots to do. And I was like, oh, let me see some older shoots from EXO. And this popped up. And I was like, oh, I have to do this one. I have to do this one. So we're doing it today. Okay, so the first image, it seems like there's a, it's a cover because of W Korea. But they always put the W Korea on all the images. So I'm not which one. I'm not sure which one is a cover, if not. Um, but the first image is of D.O. Um... You, if you guys didn't know, I'm a Dio stan. I just, his vocal ability is just gives me so much life. The fact that he did that one song in Spanish on his um his debut album. Yo, a king, a king. And I really, really am looking forward to watching his K-dramas or, or movies he's done. Um, If you guys could list his movies he's done below and I'll check those out with Jorge when I get a chance. Oh, if you guys are new here, my friend Jorge. Um, oftentimes reacts to EXO with me, and he really loves Dio as well, so that's what I'm referring to when I say Jorge. Um, this image, I really like it. I really like it. I like the angle. The lips look good. The jawline is sharp. Um, I believe this is shot on film. At least it looks like it, so I like that aesthetic already. Um, the major, major League Baseball, I think, is the sponsor of this shoe. I think that's what they're all wearing. Um, and I like that color line. It's very, like, I'm not sure if it's, like, ingrained in like new york streetwear but like lots of the hats have the new york new york emblem on there is usually the major league baseball attire that's what we're usually what it is um but I, I love i this is such a simple clean look the chain it, it, it reminds me of new york this this styling this in this portrait reminds me of new york Next, we have is Suho, our leader. Okay, okay. It's giving me New York tees with a hat and a big old puffy jacket. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with the mouth, though. He's like, well, he, he can't breathe. I'm not sure if there's another in for the pick or if it was shot on film, so he only had enough, only so many shots to take. Um, but I like the I like the image. I like the lighting. It's giving me on-camera flash vibes. It's giving me... Um, it's giving me a photo album from the '90s type of vibe. I think I think this whole shoe is going to give us that kind of vibe. Like we're in looking through a, you know, a photo book um, of the past, even though it's only 2018. So I guess it's the past, but not too much, too too far in the past. It's giving me '90s vibe. That's why I said that. Next image, Sehun. Excuse me. Now I'm sucking on his lollipop like that. The lips. <laughs> the lips. <laughs> okay, so. I wish he wore bright colors more often because this this suits him. This blue, this is his color. I've done plenty of shoots on the channel, solo shoots from him, and the colors are always like neutral, subdued. You know, I I I don't recall remember seeing like any bright color type of outfits from him. I think this might be um, a rare find. Maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe he, on his own outfits he wears bright colors, but here. It works. It works. And this is an elevator. What, where's his location? Maybe not. But I like it. I like. I like the contrast with that gold backdrop situation with the blue. But that gold also matches the um, embroidery on the sleeves and stuff. I'm into it. Next image, you have Suho again. I love this picture. I love the angle, the composition, the styling. Even though, okay, this basic street style situation, you know, sweatshirts and hoodies and all that, all that kind of stuff, I'm into. It. I'm wearing one. I'm wearing this is my this is my own my own brand, Desnudo. I'm I love a sweatshirt moment. Beanies, hats. It's it's very simple. It's not like 
you know couture or anything like that but it is just it's so comfortable to look at especially when they do it with a particular colorway this has yellow black and um and white all over from the hat to the sweatshirt i'm i'm assuming like i said this shot on film so i like the film aesthetic overall this image speaks to my spirit next image oh we got chin i think as far as jaw lines goes chin is underrated he is out of all these idols from sm his jawline is the most jolly that square chin jaw them cheeks i'm into it i'm into this picture how is this shot how is this double exposure Okay, because like it's like it might be double exposure. Because I, how was the shot? I can't tell because the the image you see underneath is like an upside down image. We have like you know Mickey Mouse in them and like what seems to be like a restaurant with a photo of oranges or something or bread. I don't even know how they shot this, but I'm into it. Maybe he's like at first I thought he was on behind a mirror maybe or a glass, not a mirror, a glass, um, but but maybe not. Um, I don't know, but I like this image. The, the angle, composition, I got the bucket hat. I met the bucket hats recently. Um, I've never worn bucket hats throughout my life, but you know, once I started making my brand I, and I, I got myself one of my um, own bucket hats, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Bucket hats are kind of a serve. Bucket hats are kind of a serve. I'm here for it. Here for it. Next image, we have D.O. again. Ooh. Maybe I'm just biased towards baby blue. Clearly, I'm biased towards baby blue. But this blue and black, <sighs> y'all, it's hitting. It's hitting. It's hitting. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I love this. I love this so much. I love the styling. I love the composition. The, this it's very interesting that the hat has the A on it that's like coming off of it. I want to see how it looks like for if it's actually flopping up forward, which I think it is. Um, Dio's lips, so full, the fullest lips. He better work. He better work. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Yes, it's very simple. I, I I will say that this shoot so far everything's been very simple. Nothing too crazy. Very tight shots. You know, very simple styling. So it's not looking like 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 spectacular, but. Regardless, the photography, the posing, everything about the style, everything about it, I love personally. This is personally my kind of vibe, my kind of shoot. Um, and that's why I appreciate it so much. Next image. Okay, we got Sehun again. Wait a minute. Okay, I said blue is his color, but orange also could be his color. I like the little combo with the green and the orange. Now, I will say the color in the jacket throws me off because of the... Because of the other colors. Because we have the other colors we have on him is the green, orange, the blue, and the white. And then this jacket is black and white, which. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I just might make me a jacket like this. Not very similar, similar, but very similar to this. Because I like. I don't like the jacket with this outfit, but I like the jacket by itself. This black and white stripe moment. I might have to do it. I might have to do it, y'all. I might have to do it. This is hitting. It's kind of hitting, y'all. I kind of like it. But not together. Um, I like the scenery. I don't love his face in this. It doesn't seem the most flattering with the lighting. It's a little flat, a little no dimension to it. I'm not I'm not into the face, but um, everything else I'm, I'm really digging. Next image we have is Chen Yol. Okay, Chen Yol with this pink. Come on, pink. Pink hat, pink sweatshirt, pink pants. Where is this shot at? It's giving me like a downtown, not maybe not downtown, maybe downtown, street vendor, Chinatown type of vibe. In Chinatown, there's lots of shops and places that look kind of similar to this in New York City. So it's kind of, I'm, I'm sure there's an area kind of like that in Korea. Um, oh my gosh, I like this. The, this scenic situation with this shoe, where, where it's at, I'm not sure where they shot this at, but like it seems like a, t a city or a town. It's giving very much 80s vibes. It's giving me a city in the 80s. I'm really, hit, I'm really here for it. Next image we have is Schumann. Oh, Schumann come through with his profile. Okay, I absolutely, 
and I mean it. Absolutely love this. It's a very simple portrait. It is a profile shot, simple, 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 but the composition and the way this black and white looks, it sets a mood. I like that you can see the hat and it has like the banner all the way down, the striped shirt. This, this is, this is it. It's such a, it's, it's almost calming to me, if that makes sense. I feel very calm, cool, collected looking at this image. I'm into it a lot, a lot actually. A lot, actually. I'm into this. Next image we have is Beckyon. Okay. Very simple portrait. Very simple, clean, with a little pink on next to the fence. Um, like I said before, I'm really into the film aesthetic this is giving us. So hopefully it is film. Um, it's, 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 I like it. I like it. Next image we have is Kai. I absolutely love this. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but... I tend to shoot stuff myself on a regular basis on a simple, simple backdrop, simple setup. I'm nothing too crazy, but I do like images, shoots, editorials where there's like a busy, lived-in type of situation, like that, 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 that shop and the other image that with Chen Yong and this here. Just a bunch of stuff. Someone's home and you're taking pictures around the house, around the setting. I'm, I'm, I only do that when I do on location stuff. Like if I shot, actually, I did, I did do a shoot in Chinatown actually. For my magazine, the Suno magazine, I did a shoot in Chinatown. I was using different, and we didn't even go around the whole area because it was so cold. So I wasn't trying to like walk distances, but it was definitely shot in a way where I, I got this angle from this side of the street, this background here from this these shops and this building, and this reminds me of that. And I'm I'm into it. I'm into this. I like the wet hair, the posing. Come on, lips. Come on, veins. Kai is vascular. The veins are veining. The veins are veining, y'all. Go off. Next image we have is Beckyon. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm into this composition. I love that we can see top of wherever this building is. He might be outside of something. Wait, is this a gate? There's going to be black bars behind him. Where is this? Okay, I really want to see the behind the scenes. Uh, for this shoot, I want I I, I really want to see where everything was shot. We, they're giving us variety and more variety with the locations. Look, at it, we're getting this might be shot at nighttime outside. I don't know, but I'm I'm, I'm into it. I'm into, like it's just the whole film vibe. Like I feel like I'm going through a photo book, and this is this is it. This is it. Next image we have Kai, and not the Christ photo in the background. Ooh, what's going on here? Um, this gives me album cover. It's giving me 80s album cover. He looks like a rock star. Especially with his leather jacket on. This bedazzled like leather jacket on with this NY bedazzled situation. I'm into this. EXO, I need to do more EXO shoots. Cause I'm living for this. Yes, I know I do a lot of Kai and I've done a lot of uh Sehun, you know, in the past. Um, but I need to do more EXO as a collective. I need to do more extras of collective. They're giving me life. They're giving me so much life on a regular basis. I'm here for it. Next image. Oh, we have four sets with Chen. First of all, us seeing the full body with the baggy pants tucked into the socks with the with the slides. I love it. This whole outfit I love. This styling I love. It's very streetwear, very casual. I'm into it. I'm about to do some styling like this. I'm no stylist, but I'm about to get into it. I sure am. I sure am. I'm about to get into it. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, y'all. This is this aesthetic. He fits the vibe with the bucket hats, the jawline. This this the, the, everything about this. I'm really into. I'm really into this. Ooh, I want to do more EXO shoes. They they really slay. Uh, they really slay. Next image. Oh, is this Schumann? I thought this is Schumann. Okay, even though we can't really tell. What's going on with this because of the chandelier? Wait a minute. It, okay, at first it seemed like the chandelier is just hanging in front of him. He's behind it, but it also looks like it's reflecting off of something. And you see another reflection. Is this double exp What? How? Yo, this is making my mind bend. What the inception is happening? This is such a cool image. I don't know what what is on, what's this, this the image or was an overlay of a double exposure. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know where it ends or where it begins, but I'm into it. Um, but I, I, we can clearly see the outfit. I like this jacket. It zips up the, it zipped up the side. Wow, is this? It's interesting. 
don't know how this works. This jacket, if it's zipped up this side, like the zippers down the sleeve, it's what it kind of seems like it is. But overall, I like this. It's very cool, very strange. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm, I'm liking it. Next image we have is Schumann again. Okay, so I'm into this like pink, white, and purple situation here. Um, for some reason, I really dig the pants tucked into. Actually, it makes sense because I'm, I'm a big fan of pants tucked into a boot. So if you have like, a baggy pant and you tuck inside of a boot and it's kind of like the bagginess ends and it's very like skinny because the boot size is tight to your leg. Similar to what you do with the sock. The sock here is to his leg. So the the baggy pant kind of go away at the, as, as, as it tucks in. I'm into that aesthetic. And then again, scenically, we can see all this crap behind him. Not crap, but the background behind him with the stuff going on. And he's in the center. I'm into it. I like this so much. So much. So much. Yes, yes, yes. Next image we have is uh, Chen Yong. Oh, this is very different. Same concept as the other images with them being in a certain location, but he's off to the side. Our subject is over here. He's at the focal point. He's at the center. I love this composition. This isn't that common. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that common to see our subject matter not in the middle of the photo in some shape or form. He's off to the side. It's almost like he's not, he's, he blends in almost. That is so cool to me. This is so cool to me. I love this a lot. I love this a lot. I'm not sure if it's during the work hours of this place. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm. This is it. This is it. I like this a lot. This is this is everything. I like the styling. Oh my gosh! I want to go out and do some photo shoots now. I'm so inspired. Our last image is Sehun at the zoom in. As y'all know, I like a picture with the subject small. Let me see the background, but he's this big, and I'm shook. I'm not sure how far away the photographer was. He might have been across the room. I don't know. It almost like his Photoshop. He looks like he's like comically small in this, but I'm sure he's to scale. But he looks like he's this big compared to everything else, and it's slightly tilted. It seems like the camera was immaculate composition. This photo shoot slays, slays. I absolutely love this. The styling with the streetwear. This, the background, I'm not sure what is that, a like cafeteria? I don't know what it is, but it's, it's giving me life. This whole shoot, this whole shoot is a winner, chicken dinner. Okay, y'all, that was the last image. So time to pick out our favorite. And it's going to be hard because I have a bias kind of towards Dio. But I also, you know, I I can't, I don't want to pick it based on that. But I do like both Dio, Dio's images. That, that picture of Schumann, though, that picture of Schumann was good, that black and white one. I think hi. Okay, so I think it's very hard. There, they, I there's a there's like a ton I really love. But I'm going to pick the one of Suho. Yeah, this one's my favorite image of the shoot. Even though I do love the other ones, this is just this just scooches just a little bit. I just like the composition and I love the coloring, black, white, and yellow. So that's why I picked this one. But but. But it was very hard because all the other images are really good too. But yeah, let me know what you guys think below. What's your favorite image? Who is your bias? Um, what song was that during this time? Let me know below. I forget. Was it Coco Pop? No. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? You guys let me know. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.